All right, YouTuber. So uh, another unboxing video. So um, this is a Rosewill SRM-01 mini tower, and uh, this was a uh, $22.99. So let's see what my $22.99 can buy. Um, I don't know if this one's available at Amazon, but I'll have the link down below. I got this, I think, through eBay, directly through Rosewill. Um, there's a couple other 2299 cases on here. So, as I um, probably will start building a few, uh, I don't know if we'll call them bare bones computers, and uh, selling them on the old eBay. Uh, but this, uh, this probably is going to be the first one. So, all right. Well, let's get started. And I got my handy dandy knife out. Turn it that way. I'll try and add some uh, photos at the end of this so you all can see this. Because I know right now I'm shooting at 120 degree angle, so it's uh, not going to make for the best look on it, but at least you can see everything. And I'm using a Tri One Tri or a cell phone mount which I'll have that link down below in case you're doing product videos and you would like to have something that gives you a, uh, a view over top such as the one I'm doing so um, this actually looks like a pretty decent freaking case for $22.99 but let's see I buy a lot of Rosewood cases um, I uh, Seem to spend most of my time on the cheap end on computer cases, but that's uh, only because we're not one of the big dogs on uh, on YouTube yet. Might not ever become one, but all right. So um, nice aluminum uh, case, and uh, for the money, this looks pretty decent. So. We will, uh, let's see, turn it this way. We'll take this side off. And then we'll start talking about the features. So this has um, a graded, perforated um, side panel, which, uh, you know, it's going to get a lot of dust in there. There's no filter, so that's kind of a negative. But, uh, you know, other than that, it is nice to have that extra uh, cooling because I like to, I honestly have time to keep my side panel off. All right, so uh, manual is in here, and we'll take a look at that. And... So I'm not really wanting to um, disconnect everything in here, but I wanted you all to see the connectors. And, ooh, this one's a little bent, but hopefully that's all right. So the standard stuff that you would expect, uh, your different USB connectors, HD audio, then uh, probably... Somewhere in here, there's going to be the HDD um, connector. Resets probably in here somewhere. Power switch. And there's the reset. There's the power ones. 
Um, somewhere we're missing. We're missing one. That's that guy. That was a reset. I did that one already. All right. So I think I got all the all the cables, and uh, hopefully they're okay. They look like they got bent a little bit. So um, that's the connectors. Now looking at the inside of this, you could uh, bolt um, at least one hard drive in there. And uh, if you're going to use a DVD or CD-ROM player up at the top for that, then other places where you could mount your hard drives, um, it would look like you have to come in uh, at this angle and mount uh, four four bolts from the uh, uh, the bottom, uh, four bolts to the bottom, or four screws to the bottom of the hard drive, and there's at least two spots for that. Uh, this case is going to be a little tight to work on. This uh, doesn't pop off, so that's going to make uh, graphics card installation a little difficult. Um, let's see. It might actually... Um, this might actually unscrew right here. And if it does, that would be nice because... Uh, Trying to put a graphics card in there with that is going to be difficult. So we've got uh, we've got a CPU fan, not a CPU fan. We have a uh, system fan here, and up in the front appears we have another one. Let me just make sure. No, I'm wrong. Only one fan. Only one fan, folks. So in the front of this, we have two USB 2.0s. You've got your mic, headphones. It looks like a reset button and the power button. Um, this is kind of uh, chintzy. Um... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, not not very impressed with that. Um, then on the side, we've got one USB 3.0 right there. Um, so that is, uh, that's kind of sucks. Um, but, you know, $22.99, folks, remember, if you're going to not spend a lot of money, you're not going to get a lot of features. All right, so from the other side, what we can access, obviously on this side, you also would screw in your DVD player and your hard drive. Uh, nothing can be used here, it would appear. Uh, this will allow you to uh, run some of the cables back around this side so that uh, they are somewhat hidden, which is nice. And uh, I wish... Um, you know, I'm going to take the camera off of the uh, device and we're going to go, we're going to step inside of our, our case so you can see what it looks like from the inside, all right? So why not um, do this so that you can see everything. Maybe I should go slower. There's your fan. I'll look at the instructions in a bit to see what size that actually is. I'm not sure if that was meant to be something, but um, I said there's the power button. Hopefully it'll last a long time. So I will probably at some point put a uh, Gigabyte H310M Motherboard nests, we've done a few of those, and then I, um, good chance, I will just put the motherboard in, install it, and then uh, I might just sell it, sell it on the good old eBay. We'll see. I've got, a, I've got a lot of cases, so I can't keep all of them. We just can't keep them all, folks. All right, so, you know, standard stuff in the bag. Um, 
mounting hardware and the um, uh, spacers, I'll call them. Let's see, so can't see up there without a light. Let's see. Here's your drive bays. And so it appeared that the uh, the front comes off somehow. Front should come off, and you would be able to um, maybe put another case fan in. But uh, there is uh, there is only one, so. All right, let's take a look at the, the book. And I'm gonna switch from this angle to this guy, okay? And our book got all crunched up. So let me uh, let me open this up. All right, so um, they go over basically left, left panel, rear panel. There is a bottom dust filter. You can see it right there. Um, front panel. So according to that, it looks like the front panel should come off. And there's your uh, USB 3.0 connector right there. Your 2.0 connector is, uh, let's see, it's either that one or the HD. One of these, one of those two right there. Um, and there's the opposite one. Input diagram. And that's, this is actually the hardware to a parts list. All right, so installation guide. And then walking you through the installation, folks. You will have to pause this, though, because uh, I don't want to spend forever on this. But very simple. Um, Case for the money, $22.99. For those of you doing a budget build, highly recommend this case for that. Those of you that are looking to make a really badass gaming computer, I'd say move on. Get yourself at least a mid tower or a full tower. I love the full towers, uh, they are a bit more pricey. So I usually buy mid towers. Um, I did spoil my kid with a uh, a full case but uh, all right so that is the guide folks thanks for checking out the video please like please subscribe